Stone Mill Fosters began with one little dog that showed up as a stray and grew into something big. How did all this happen, you may ask? We went from the bear pens in the 90s to a dog fostering facility today. The infrastructure was there, but many things no longer worked. We blew leaves, pressure washed, cleaned out old storage stuff, also known as junk. We fixed gates, added gates, added plastic outside the doors to keep out the wind hung tarps. We weed-eated, trimmed vines, and cut trees off the roof. We re-ran wiring, added outlets, added doors, built doors and walls, added insulation, added propane heaters and heat lamps. We wired in outside floodlights and more. We brought in kennels, tables, furniture, rugs, nighttime lights, and then the dogs. We now have electricity, lights, ARB freezer for meds and treats, and heat to keep our dogs comfy and healthy. We have special diet foods for upset tummies, and mental games for the easily bored dogs. We have more to do, like fix the driveway up so that our volunteers can make it to the dogs and not have to walk, and so they don't slip and slide the whole way. Believe it or not, not everyone owns a four-wheel drive. We easily spend three to four hours a day taking care of the fosters and any issues that may come up, such as unplanned explosions. Bee Paws has helped with over 90 medical issues, and here at Stone Mill, we have cared for four heartworm positive dogs while they receive treatment. We keep records of all medical issues, provide treatment, keep up-to-date vax and meds as well, as provide first aid as needed. It takes a team to do what we, we do. Be Paws We Care leaders very often come out to help care for the fosters, make repairs, bring supplies, as well as transporting to vet appointments. All of your support helps us help the dogs. When it comes to the dogs, saying no is not an option. We find a way to say yes, and we get the job done. <sighs> Saved them. Bee Paws has saved over 300 animals in the year 2019, and we can do even more in 2020. 
with your help and our new initiative, a community spay and neuter program. Thank you to BPAWS and all our supporters.